Walker, are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing? Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? I hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I've made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. Oh, We're never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. We've arrived. Shall we tell him when we'll be returning? With that change in it. It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Oh, maybe there's someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me? Is anyone here? Hello?
exit out of this place. Excuse me, where am I? Heaven, friend. Or as close as we'll see till Judgment Day. I just keep such questions to myself, unless I want to get made. for a redeemer. Without sin, what grace has forgiveness? Father Comstock, we recommit through sacrifice and the giving of thanks and by submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies it wounded me and not railed against the sodden beneath us, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the three golden gifts of the founders, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just accepted the three golden gifts of the founders and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the prophet had only prayed for our deliverance and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the prophet had just led us to the new Eden and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved. It would have been enough if the prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the vox populi. It would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Colombia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord. I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city. Brother, the only way to Colombia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Let's turn around Cleanse the back yourself, the brother. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Told you, I'm not gonna do it. Now go away, Mr. Dewitt. Mr. Dewitt.
That idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. So I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. Above all other nations. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above all other nations. To Father Jefferson, a scroll so that Eden might have laws that set her above all other nations. And so each year we recommit ourselves to our founders and our prophet, Father Comstock. And, and recommit to, to our, our prophet, prophet, Father, Father Comstock. Comstock, so that we may follow in the prophet's path. Amen. Amen. Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. By the sword, sword and, and the, the scroll, scroll and, and the, the key. key. Amen. Amen. Father Franklin, hear my prayer. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right, so got a girl to find. Dock on time. Yesterday I had to take a gondola, rubbing elbows with all sorts. Morning. Good to see you. Perfect day for the celebration. Father Comstock must have foreseen and planned it just this way. It fails to capture Father Comstock's absolute, you know, divinity. Hmm? Like does not matter to a Liberty Scout. There's no room for preference, only duty.
Populi that. Now, what does Vox Populi even mean, for heaven's sake? Uh, it's Latin. It means... Latin. <laughs> you know, I thought I detected a hint of an accent from our waiter. Hmm. Psalmstall's all right, I tell you. Says he's for faith, family, and fatherland. Who could be against all that? Never hire an artist, my dear fellow. They are a temperamental and unreliable lot to a man. Uh-huh. I told him that the park is exceedingly far behind schedule. The, the, the landscaping is half finished. The, the statuary hasn't arrived. The fountain is full of rainwater, for God's sake. Even the marigolds are still unplanted. All work which should have been done months ago. Uh-huh. Do you know what he told me? He said that he was tired, that, that the work had taken much from him. I said, good God, man, don't tell me about details, just get it done. Mm-hmm. You almost finished down there? Yes, sir. Hey, citizen, you're looking fit. Right event to attend on a day like today is serious business, you know. You can't be everywhere at once. <laughs> You'll always miss something. That's why we're going to the raffle. I have a good feeling this year. Columbia Raffle and Fair.
strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll, if you get my meaning. for a boutonniere? We're raising money for the Girls' Patriotic League. <laughs> Maybe next time. You'd look dashing with one in your lapel. Come back if you change your mind. into the waters of baptism, a different man comes out, born again. But who is that man who lies submerged? Perhaps that swimmer is both sinner and saint until he is revealed unto the eyes of man. Now do I? Yeah, that's where they said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Who ties? A good day to you, sir. Hello. I 
agree. He keeps saying that. Would you believe me? Should we go in? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friend, I... Hello there, friend. You gonna let me through here, pal? Hey, streets closed for your safety, fella. They're prepping tonight's fireworks back there. There's enough TNT back there to blow Better Peking find King the around. Kingdom Come. Again. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. And he has asked, as Mr. Jeremiah think to bring to you these amazing wonders. Praise be to our prophet, and praise be to our fair city. If I told you a man could shoot lightning from his fingers now, would you believe me? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir, no, ma'am. Those are vigors I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremiah Fink himself. Who amongst you has tasted the divine gift of the vigor? One swing and feats of wonderment are at the tips of your fingers. You know our prophet is fair. You know our prophet is kind. Look at and he me. has asked. Don't dirty mock her at it again. Uh, See them buttons uh, and around his friend here. All of them feeling blue. <laughs> Prophet and praise young sir, life. young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. Here. Fine, young sir, young miss, roll up and try the amazing power of Bucking Bronco. Whether you need it lifted, lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is just the ticket. <laughs> What are you waiting for, friend? The rapture? Yeah! And there's devil number one. Oh. Devil number two. Woo! He's on a roll. And that's three. We have a winner. Here you go, friend. And remember, if you need Lofted, tossed, or tumbled, Bucking Bronco is your answer. Look at this. Those dirty vox are at it again. See them villains zipping around, spreading their lies and dissent? Fear not. I got just secure. Grab a shotgun and go to work. You bet. You got what it takes to keep our city safe? Mighty fine prize if you can keep those skylines clear. Good man. Now take aim and blast those evil vox out of the sky. Hit enough and I'll get you a prize.
from your place of business or on a romantic evening ride with the business. one yet? Oh my, no. I have. Liar. <laughs> Honest. We blew the windows out of my The mind. advances in science and wonder we've seen in our lifetime. Soon enough, Fink and Lutess will be sending folks to the moon. Wouldn't that be something? Moon people. Hot dogs, hot dogs, Alexander hot dogs, Columbia's finest, worth every cent. Box of foes, box of foes. Hear your voice from the past in the present. Have you sampled any of the new vigors here today? I usually wait till Fink works out the kinks with him. It's safe with him. Say something, Sonny. What's a voxophone? What's a voxophone? Exactly that. A personal record of voice. Hey, just so we're clear, I'm not paying for this. Just a demonstration, sir. Skill by hunting down Daisy Fitzroy and the vile members of the Vox Populi. Well, here's a brave fellow. Now, shoot the box when they appear, get it up, and you'll win a prize. I'll even throw in a bonus if you bag the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. A crack shot! A fine show! A crack shot! You're almost there! Oh, those box are quaking in their boots. Ah, the anarchist Fitzroy! Quickly now! Sorry, pal. The raffle 
almost all sold out. We bet he could lift that entire booth over there. Strength isn't everything. Oh, what do you know? Well, if it isn't assemblyman Buford, your spot at the raffle awaits. Don't know why I didn't recognize you before. Odd. All we've got to have gentlemen of your caliber are flying fairgrounds. Or tails. Come on, let me through. Heads. Or tails. Huh. Heads. Told you. Hmm. I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagined. Chin up. There's always next time. I suppose there is. Just fine to me. Mary, you are a living, walking scandal. I appreciate a lady who appreciates value. Bless her and keep her. Oh, that poor woman. And then she suffered. Me and my wife. Don't make me look. I believe all the prophets teach it. But some people think that Lady Comstock not only designed the Colombian flag, but sold every single one of them in existence. I mean, really. You know, Thomas, I don't make light of your beliefs. I would appreciate it if you did not make light of mine. And in front of our friends. Mama says it's not a fit occupation for a lady, but I think she's jealous of our cleverness. Is it true that only you are allowed to visit the girl in the tower? If the lamb is lonely too, I should like to meet her, as we would have much in common. Warmest regards, Constance.
gambling and stop gambling. We're staying out late at night. Go home to your wife and your family. And sit down by the fireside ride. Sorry, son, this street is closed. Best we get to the raffle. You wouldn't want to miss out. See I'm gonna take me you a roll up town. Irene, good night. Irene, good night. Good night, Irene. Good night, Irene. I'll see you in my dreams. Splendid! <laughs> And now, the 1912 raffle has officially begun! Mister! Mister! Sorry, no sale. <laughs> Silly, there's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me... The bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right then. The winner is number 77! Oh, what do you know? Over here! Over here! He's the winner! Number 77, come and claim your prize! First round! It was me! It was all me! Please! 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 What are you doing? Come on! Are you gonna throw it? Or are you taking your coffee black these days? <laughs> no, no, I'm the one you want! Oh! Looks like we've got a shy one here! <laughs> we've got to do something about that! Come on, please. Time's a wasting, my boy! Why don't you give her a throw? I'm not throwing it. Wait! It's him! Now, where'd you get that brand, boy? Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, false shepherd? The false shepherd! And we ain't letting no false shepherd into our flock! <laughs> Show him what we got planned, boys!
This way! Cover the gate! Get in there! you Comstock. You sell them paradise and the customers expect cherubs for every chore. <laughs> no menials in God's kingdom. <laughs> well, I have a man in Georgia who leases us as many Negro convicts as you can board. Why, you can say they're simple souls in penance for rising above their station. <laughs> Whatever eases your conscience, I suppose.